The very successful team of Susan Feniger and Mary Sue Milliken began as separate careers in high school. Mary Sue in Michigan, Susan in Ohio. Later, Susan trained at the Culinary Institute of America and Mary Sue at the Hilton Hotels in Chicago. The two eventually met at one of Chicago's top restaurants, Le Perroquet, where they apprenticed under famed chef owner Jovin. After a season in France for each, they finally teamed up together in 1982 at City Cafe in Los Angeles, where their food was acclaimed for its originality and excellent quality. More recently, Mary Sue has plunged into Thai cuisine after extensive travels there, and Susan has been exploring India. We visited them at their restaurant called City, and we went inside their busy kitchen where we peered into their tandoori oven. Then we accompanied them to Chef Mary Sue's home kitchen, designed for her by her architect husband, for a lesson in contemporary Far Eastern vegetarian cooking. They're a lively pair of teachers, as you will see. What neither Julia nor anyone else could have predicted at that point was just how far these two would go. For more than 35 years, Mary Sue Milliken and Susan Feniger have been among the most fearless pioneers in the American restaurant world. After getting their starts in the rough world of French kitchens where women were scarce, they then pushed even further, opening their own place, Los Angeles' City Cafe in the early 1980s. A tiny hole in the wall that became a model for the kind of chef-owned operation that allowed independent, experimental cooking. Then at Border Grill, they explored regional Mexican cooking decades before the idea became fashionable. At a time when most Mexican restaurants were serving tired combination plates blanketed by melted cheese, Mary Sue and Susan were sharing crab meat tacos, huaraches, and ceviches. In the late 80s, they opened City Restaurant and were among the first to embrace a global view of cooking that treated many cuisines as equals and blurred the lines between street food and fine dining in a way that is only really becoming popular today. When Julia and the Cooking with Master Chefs team visited them in 1993, Thai melon salad sat comfortably on the menu next to duck confit with Madeira sauce and orange dal and might have been followed by a towering Midwestern layer cake baked by Mary Sue's mom. Their Good Food radio show, which debuted in 1995, was one of the first national programs devoted to food, taking listeners to farmers markets, demonstrating recipes, and chatting with chefs and cooks. Among the guests on the first episode, Julia Child. And long before Emeril, Mario, or Bobby Flay, they were among the first stars on the Food Network with their long-running Too Hot Tamales. So popular were they that their chatty kitchen patter was even parodied in a much-loved skit on Saturday Night Live. Another honor shared by Julia. Throughout their careers, they have been leaders in giving back to worthy causes, spending countless hours organizing and cooking at fundraisers for Share Our Strength, No Kid Hungry, the Los Angeles LGBT Center, and the Scleroderma Research Center, among many, many others. For more than three decades, Mary Sue Milliken and Susan Feniger have exemplified leadership, not just in cooking, but in education, mentorship, innovation, bringing people together at the table.